welcome to this Gibbs Cam Tech Tip. Today we're going to talk about gun drilling, or deep hole drilling, depends on uh, what you like to call it. It's basically the ability to take a small or a larger tool and drill a very deep hole, like a gun barrel. You know, a gun barrel is, you know, 24 inches long. We need to drill uh, that deep. That's what gun drilling does for us. It allows us to drill those holes accurately. Now, there are some specialized tools for this, which you can go out and find from the manufacturer. Gibbscam has built, and we have built a feature that allows us to do gun drilling inside the software. Makes it fast and easy. Okay, so here's our part. And we're going to go in and uh, drill the hole. Okay, so I've already created uh, three tools. Drill, a reamer, and our gun drilling tool. Now, we're going to use the drill and the reamer to create the pilot hole. It's important that we have a really accurate pilot hole. Okay, I choose the remit. You could bore it but it needs to be the same size as your gun drill, okay? This will keep the tool from jumping around and give us a nice uh, guide, as it were. So I'm just gonna drill here a simple hole, nothing, nothing too fancy, you can set your speeds and feeds, and uh, just drill a hole, and then we're gonna come down and ream it. Again, accuracy here is important. Um, because the drill would like to wobble around and move around. So this helps keeps it in line. So now we've got our pilot hole. And now we're ready to do our gun drilling. So we'll bring our tool down. And we'll switch on other. And gun drilling becomes available along with all the functionalities that go along with it. So we'll go here and we'll turn on the tool spindle. This is where the tool is. It's on the turret. You can reverse. We need to set the pilot depth. So we need to remember what we did there. We went one inch. The approach feed, the RPM, you can set it to change the feed or spindle depth or retract. It just depends what you like to do on your machine. Set a finish feed rate and a finish spindle speed or RPM. Go ahead and uh, we're going to stop after the approach and you can turn these on and off to manage that. We're going to go 10 inches deep. You can also use the feature if you like. Um, you can use that too. You can create a feature there. And we're just going to say there you are. That makes it really, really simple. Notice we didn't really have to build any geometry. We didn't have to do anything. Makes it really nice to just be able to go in, put some tools in, and go off and drill some holes without having to do a lot of work. Okay? That's what makes it really nice. So there you see our drill, ream, and then our gun drill. Okay? Really simple stuff. Makes it really, really easy for you. Then we'll go off and we'll post the code again, you know, pick the machine. You can go in and uh, let's have a quick look at the code. And you can see here that, you know, we're turning on the spindle, we're turning on the tool spindle, we're stopping, and then we're turning on the tool spindle, changing the feed rates, changing the spindle direction, going to depths. So again, all these things really depend too on your machine and how your machine needs to react to this, okay? And you can get a lot of that information from the manufacturer of the tools. They'll give you all the different things you need, speeds, feeds, um, how deep you could actually go, okay? So again, make it quick and easy and simple, okay? No geometry creation, no picking this, just put in the values and it takes care of it. If you have any more questions on this or anything Gibbs, please contact your local reseller. Thank you and have a great day.